From the combined newsrooms in Eugene, Roseburg, and Coos Bay, KVAL News at 5 starts now. Earlier today, pro-Palestine protesters entered the administration building on the University of Oregon campus, chanting and throwing shredded pieces of paper. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brandon Kammerman. And I'm Kendall Bartley. The clock is ticking, and pro-Palestine protesters remain on the University of Oregon campus, refusing to leave until the administration meets their demands. Now, the school setting an expectation Thursday that the protesters end their overnight encampment by Saturday. The camps occupied the lawn in front of the Knight Library for 12 days now, and that's where we find KVAL's Juliet Smith. Juliet, you've been covering the protest all day, including this morning when a rally broke out. Well, right now, it is really a game of back and forth. Actually, after we left, President Schultz released a statement around 4 p.m. this afternoon. He is saying that they have been having continued discussions with representatives from the encampment. Nothing substantial has come from it. He has also said that he is asking them, as we know, to leave in the next day. And he's saying that that will clear the way for even more positive and hopefully substantial um, substantial agreements or coming to some sort of conclusion. He's also worried that this will disrupt the education process here. Now, if you take a look at the encampment right now, we can see that it's not nearly as busy this afternoon. President Schultz reiterated that he just wants to sit down. The camp says they want to meet before clearing out the camp. So they invited them here today, but the administration did not show. Free, free, free Palestine! Free, free, free Palestine! They should fear! The might of liberation. Frustrations by pro Palestinian protesters after University of Oregon officials did not show to discuss their demands. We had agreed upon a 10 a.m. meeting date. They did not agree necessarily to public negotiations, to be clear. The university did agree to discuss demands should protesters vacate by the deadline requested. <laughs> When they didn't show, hundreds marched to the administration building, reading the names of those who have died and hosted a die-in to remember the lives lost in Gaza. Take up as much space. Go on the sidewalk, go on the road. Protesters then stormed the administration building. The admin think they could hide behind closed doors, closed negotiations. We know better than that. <laughs> They continued upstairs throwing paper with their divestment demands. The protests made its way around campus and back through the building. Protesters reported that officials then locked the door of the administration building, and the rally ended shortly after noon. Now, I attempted to speak to multiple protesters that was here going up to them. They said that they have a protocol that I had to talk to media liaisons. Unfortunately, none of them were available, and I still have not had the chance to talk to anyone to get their reaction and see what the next day is going to look like here at the University of Oregon. We will continue to be out here tonight, and we will obviously, of course, continue to bring you as many updates as we can. We're just going to have to see if people will be speaking with us. And again, the encampment is supposed post and tomorrow that is the due date that the university is telling people that they need to leave by so we will also be out here tomorrow and we will continue to update you throughout the night on our website you can find as much information as you can on our social media and on our website for now reporting live at the university of oregon's pro-palestinian encampment i'm juliette smith and i'll send it back to you in studio from the combined newsrooms in eugene roseburg and coos bay kval news at six starts now <laughs> Earlier today, pro-Palestine protesters entering the administration building. You see this. This is video that we got earlier today on the University of Oregon campus. They were chanting and throwing shredded pieces of paper all throughout the administration building. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brandon Kammerman. And I'm Kendall Bartley. The clock is ticking and pro-Palestine protesters remain on the University of Oregon campus tonight, refusing to leave until the administration meets their demands. The school setting an expectation Thursday that the protesters end their overnight encampment 
by tomorrow. The camp has occupied the lawn in front of the Knight Library for 12 days now. That's where we currently find KVAL's Juliet Smith. Juliet, you've been covering the protest all day. You were inside that administration building. You were there all day when the rally broke out. Well, Brandon and Kendall, it has been quite the day out here at the University of Oregon. I have been out here all day covering everything. And right now, it's coming down to a game of back and forth between these encampment protesters and the university officials. Now, they stormed the administrative building, and President Schultz has just released a statement roughly two hours ago. And this is the first time that he is releasing a statement since those protesters stormed the administrative building. Now, the encampment officials say they want to meet the officials publicly. They want to have that conversation in public. And this morning, they had agreed to meet with the UO officials at 10 a.m. at that table, but the UO officials did not show up. UO negotiating team arrived in the place designated location using established ground rules, but the encampment reps did not come. Now, the president reiterated that the university would agree to sit down and discuss the demands of these protesters if and when they decide to move and leave that deadline is at is is tomorrow actually we don't know the time that they might be coming or we don't know the repercussions that might be coming now i just want to reiterate one more time that university officials did not say that they were coming to that table to meet with the encampment officials at 10 a.m today but they had extended that invitation now i've been trying to speak to these protesters i attempted to speak with them earlier today i attempted to speak with them just now but they are saying that only the media liaisons are able to speak with me and they have not been able to provide anybody who is able to answer any questions. Again, still a lot of unanswered questions. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. We don't know what's going to happen tonight. But of course, we will continue to keep you updated. We will be here tomorrow to bring you all of the information that you need. Brandon, Kendall. All right. Thank you so much for that report, Juliet. Like she said, it is still unknown. The university did give a deadline of tomorrow, but it is unknown what will happen tomorrow. Yeah, no point did the university specifically say how they would handle or if they would actually enforce anything with the removal of the encampment. Basically, what the university has said is, Get the encampment out and we'll negotiate or we'll discuss or we'll sit down. Obviously, the encampment has not closed or has not left. And so here we are still waiting to see what happens. And throughout the week, we've been asking you at home, do you support the removal of the pro-Palestine encampment at the University of Oregon? And here's the results really split in the middle. Nearly 1,121 yes and 1,135 no, so uh, a very controversial topic in our community. Yeah, we've been seeing it go back and forth. Obviously, people who have really strong opinions on both sides of this, people who feel strongly in favor of the encampment and uh, will and feel like there's a defense of free speech and everything that entails, and some people who say, you know, you're in public property, you're on the university, and get out. And so we'll see how this all plays out. It's very strong opinions. And uh, like Juliet referenced, this is something we're going to continue to cover um, as it develops. And that includes throughout the weekend.